Assalamu alaikum. I hope you guys are having a great day. Today I'm at Hangtua station and I'm going towards the TBS. TBS is the biggest bus station in Malaysia and you can take the buses to all the major cities in Malaysia. So let me go and show you how to get from the city center to the TBS and then how to take the buses from the TBS to anywhere in Malaysia. So let's go. So we are going towards the Putra Heights. So on the train you can see this towards Putra Heights. Outside the train, you can see. And this is where we So that's where we're going. Terminal Barsipadu Salatan, TBS. Okay, guys, we have reached the Bandar Tasik Salatan, which is BTS, and we're going to Terminal Barsipadu Salatan, which is TBS. So, a lot of people get confused between the BTS and the TBS. Actually, the BTS, the Bandar Tasik Salatan, is a train station, and the TBS, Terminal Barsipadu Salatan, is a bus station, and they're right next to each other. So, don't be confused. If you take the grab to any of them, you are right next to each other, so you can always walk. So as I said earlier, this is the biggest bus station in Malaysia, so it's needless to say that it's bigger than Kuala Lumpur as well. But yes, this is the biggest one and from here, in Kuala Lumpur, from this bus station, you can take the buses to almost all the major cities, all the destination in Malaysia except the Taman Negara, the National Park. For that one, there's only one bus company which is doing the direct transport, it's called Han Travel. In my previous video, you can see their office is in Chinatown, very near from the buses in the train station. So for my reason to come here and to show you this bus station that please buy the ticket online. If you can see this long queues, they are all waiting to get the bus tickets. You can see they are huge. So this is the bus ticket counter and right here when you enter to this bus station, this is the boarding pass. So you can see behind me there is a boarding pass counter. So why do you need a boarding pass? So let's say you buy the ticket online from any website. You need to come there and show them that your ticket and then they will give you a physical boarding pass. And with that boarding pass, you can only ride the bus. They will not accept the online ticket on this bus station. They have to make the system. But you can see it's not many people there. It's a smaller queue compared to this one. So I would highly recommend to buy the bus ticket online. There are plenty of websites you can buy the ticket, but there are two major ones. One is called Red Bus and one is easybook.com. I will put the link of the, both of their website and also they have the app. So it's very easy to buy the bus ticket from the Red Bus and also from the Easybook. They also have a special counter for senior citizens and also for disabled people. So here you can see all the departures and all the arrivals. Same like the airport. So this is the departure hall. You can only go down with the boarding pass. You can't go without the boarding pass and you cannot go with your friends and family. So you have to say bye bye from here. So this is the waiting area. If you're waiting for your bus, you can come here and sit here. And these people you see they are coming. Their buses just arrive here.
So same like the airport, they have centralized this bus station. I think in 2015, they have made this bus station the centralized because before that, there were many different bus stations in Kuala Lumpur. So for going to different destinations, you had to go to the different bus stations. So that was pretty confusing. So in 2015, they made this a centralized. So now you wanna go anywhere, you can get the bus ticket from here to the airport, intercities, different cities, everywhere except the national park, the Tamanigara place. Everywhere else you wanna go, you can come here, you can get the ticket. And also, I will show you how to buy the ticket online, through the web, and also from the app. So it's pretty easy, it's very simple, straightforward procedure, and I would highly recommend, please buy it online, because if you come here, there's like 500 people in the queue, because it will be very difficult for you to come ahead and get the ticket for the desired bus, because you may have to get the next one, because the one you're waiting for is gonna depart and they're always on time. They also have their own app, so if you need any information about TBS, you can download this app and you can find all the information. And also you go and go to their website. So one floor up, they have many cafes and restaurants and also another sitting area. So you can come here if you're waiting for your bus. You can enjoy these fast food places. I love you too, brother. So let me show you how to get the bus ticket online. I'm gonna show you the interface of redbus.com. So this is how it looks like. You can choose any city. We're choosing Kuala Lumpur. You can choose any particular terminal. But to see all the options available, please choose Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. So they will give you all the bus stations. And let's say we're going Penang. Same, all the options. And here you can choose one way or you can choose return as well. Let's say we're going for a return ticket. And to give you an option, I will go for the weekends because usually weekends sells faster. So 11th of May, returning 12th of May search and here you can see all the buses with the terminals arrival terminal how much time was the price and how many seats are available so this is a 24 hour time system so this is like actually early morning it's like 12 30 a.m so here you can see all the buses so let's say we want to go around morning time so here here you can see tbs is also available hanti and duta is a different bus stop and you will also see kl central you can see here kl central so let's say we choose the time around morning so please make sure to select the right bus stop for departure so if we're going from TBS, please select that. But if you're staying near Hanti and Duta, you can even check that one. So you don't have to go to all the way to TBS. But this is to show you how to get the buses from TBS. So I'm selecting this one. The price is pretty reasonable. Some of them, they have cheaper buses for return ticket deals. Like this one as well. It's only 30 Malaysian Ringgit. Ratings you can see here is only 3.4. This is like 4.5, so it's pretty good. So we're choosing this one, let's see. View seats. So all these seats are available. These three, four seats are taken. So let's say we're going this one, 3C. Okay, they will give you this. Proceed to book. So if you're buying the return ticket, they will ask you to select the return ticket as well at the same time. So let's say we're going down. Let's say we wanna come back in the evening. So here you need to see which terminal because either you're taking from Butterworth, Penang Central or you're taking from this one. So make sure you're choosing the right terminal from either side. So let's say 5 o'clock is 4.0. Price is also pretty good. And this is cheaper. For example, you don't have to choose the same bus for both journeys. You can select any one. So this is good, 5.0. But this one is not coming to terminal tbs so you also need to see which terminal you want to come back so i want to come back to tbs so i will select this one view seats okay so it's a double decker so let's say i'm going this one 
you want to select lower deck or upper deck so upper deck is good okay now when we proceed to book it will take you to this page so here when you will put all your information then you can only able to go to the payment portal so here i want to show you a few things while booking some of the tickets they will give you this option it's not available for all the bus tickets only for some especially when you're booking from the tbs bus station they will give you this option so make sure to select it it will only charge you per ticket one ringgit and you will have a virtual boarding pass which you can print out or you can even show on the your phone and you will be able to go to the terminal you don't need to wait at the boarding pass line so this will be your boarding pass so this is a great option second one here you need to pay this amount to get a refundable ticket so if you select this one for whatever reason if you can't travel you will have around 90 percent refund of your total payment but if you don't select it your price will go down so we're selecting this one per passenger one malaysian ringgit and here there is another one because this is the travel insurance for each ticket so if you select it it's two ringgit for both journeys one ringgit one journey so because it's a return ticket so you need to pay two ringgit and this one i would recommend it's better to have a travel insurance traveling anywhere actually so this is good is only one ringgit per travel and this is also good for the boarding pass so this is your total price so this is to give an example and this is very important please double check your email address because that's where they're going to send you the virtual ticket so if your email address is wrong you cannot get it so for example and here you can put your actual number this is a sample number is not right one So here are all the options. You can pay with the Malaysian online bank transfer, credit card, debit card, and also for the e-wallets. These are all the one. Touch and go, settle. Currently unavailable. Sometime is available. At the moment it's not available. So these are the one available. If you go debit card, credit card, these are the online banking system. They accept the online bank transfer. And here you can see the total fare this is a secure payment yes so that's how you book a ticket from this website even if you choose easybook.com the interface is very similar and exactly the same on any mobile app so yes this is tps the terminal Bursapato Selatan. i hope i was very clear and if you still have any question please comment below i will try to answer as soon as possible and as always thank you so much and thanks for all the love and support and i'll see you guys very soon with another great video inshallah take care If you want to go to the National Park, the Taman Nigara, this is the phone number.